Hi, I'm Dr. John Sharp. I'm a psychiatrist in Boston and in Los Angeles. I want to talk to you about my book proposal, The Emotional Calendar, or possibly Managing Your Emotional Calendar. Over the years, I've seen hundreds of patients who've come to me for various problems, which turn out to be embedded in the seasons of the year. Although many times, a person may not come in with this awareness, physiologic factors having to do with the climate, having to do with the time of year, factors such as light and temperature, as well as cultural seasonalities, in other words, embedded aspects of each season, come together to affect a person's emotional life. On top of that, there are personal milestones, events from the past, which condition us to expect to feel a certain way come the same time of year over and over again. Over the past 15 or 20 years, I've seen hundreds of patients in many healthcare settings, and I've started to look at their suffering through this lens of seasonality. The science of seasonality is actually fascinating. It combines psychiatry, psychology, human behavior, neuroscience, and never before has been brought together all in one place. With the emotional calendar, I'd like to fill this void. I'd like to put together what's known as well as conduct new scientific research, surveying, for example, the phenomena of spring fever or even summer depression, counterintuitive states that fall upon us and cause suffering when we least expect it. So there will be scientific evidence as well as what's known around the world already presented together with prescriptive advice on how to do better in your life, feeling better, and functioning better. Much as Ned Hallowell named the phenomena of ADD in his books, Driven to Distraction uh, and Crazy Busy, I'd like to have the emotional calendar be a one-of-a-kind, valuable reference that people will find helpful by and keep by their bedside presently and for years to come. I hope you'll see the inherent value in this and share with me the excitement in understanding better how come, for example, the smell of wet leaves may be so evocative for you in the fall, or how come, rather than be cheerful, come spring and the lengthening of days, sometimes you feel yourself down and unable to describe it. Suicide, for example, peaks in April eclipsing the peak over the holiday season between Thanksgiving and Christmas. I'll be able to explain this phenomena in the emotional calendar as well as countless others. Thank you very much for your attention with this. I'm very excited about it.